Hello, the topic of our discussion in this video tutorial is Cauchy condensation test. What is a Cauchy condensation test? Here is the uh, statement of that test. Uh, this test that if you have a series um, Bn and uh, whose uh, each term of the series is a decreasing, so Bn is a decreasing or the sequence Bn is a decreasing sequence and uh, each term uh, of that sequence is also positive. Um, then this series, if this series converge, then uh, this series will also converge. And if this series converge, because this is a if and only if a statement, if this series converge, which is two to the power n, b to the power n, then our original series, which is summation n vary from one to infinity b n is also converges. Or in other word, uh, this series and this series, they both converge and uh, diverge together. So first I will prove the forward direction. So in the forward direction, I have a given that this series, which mentioned starting from one to infinity uh, B and this series is a convergent, uh, convergent series. Or in other word, I can assume that uh, the sum of this series is uh, capital M, where capital M is a, a real number. And what I need to show, I want to show the this series, the n now starting from zero to infinity, two to the power n, b, two to the power n, uh, this series is a convergent series. This is what I need to show. Or in other word, by if we use the uh, definition of the convergence of a series, we need to show the partial sum, uh, let's suppose Tm of this series, what will be the partial sum n vary from zero to m, two to the power n, b, two to the power n, this partial sum is a convergent. So to show that this partial sum is a convergent, I will use the monotone convergence theorem or another word, I will show that uh, uh, this partial sum is bounded above and also this is an increasing sequence of partial sum. So let's uh, first prove that this is a bounded sequence, Tm. So Tm is bounded. So first we're gonna show that. So first let's calculate what is a Tm. So Tm is, uh, is equal to B1 plus two time B2 plus four time B4 and uh, eight time B8 and so on up to two to the power M B2 to the power M. This is a partial sum. So definitely, uh, since each term of this uh, B and sequence is positive, so if I add few more term in this sum, so I will get the inequality less than or is equal to. So B4, 8, B8, and so on up to 2 to the power M, B2 to the power M. I'm gonna start adding few more term two to the power n plus one, b two to the power m plus one, and so on. I add infinite many term. So therefore this uh, will have in less than r inequality. The next thing I'm going to do is, uh, this is a b one, I'm gonna pull out two because two is a common. So if I do that, this is gonna be a b two, two time b four, four time B8 and so on. Yeah, and there are infinite many term. And therefore this is equal to B1 and this is a two time. I'm gonna rewrite this is B1, B4, B4, two time B4, B8 is a four time. and so on. All the other term will be written in a similar way. Sorry, this is a B2. So this is a B2. 
since the sequence b n is a decreasing sequence so therefore b4 term will be less than or is equal to b3 term so i will replace b4 by b3 and i will use here inequality less than or equal because uh, b4 is less than is equal to b3 and then you have a b4 similarly b8 is uh, less than or is equal to uh, b5 b6 and b7 so i will replace that this is by b5 this is a b6 b7 uh, and this is a b8 and i will keep continuing uh, for the rest of this term but now i notice uh, what i have now this is a b1 uh, this is basically the sum of the series, which I have n vary from 1 to infinity. I don't have the first term of the series. So I will subtract the first term of the series from here. So this is uh, b2, b3, b4, b5 is basically this sum. Therefore, I can write this is a b1 minus 2 time of m minus 2 time of b1. Therefore, this is uh, sorry plus two m. Therefore, two m minus b one, or in other word, this partial sum is bounded and it's bounded by uh, this real number two m minus b one. So this proves that this uh, sequence is bounded above. So next we will prove t m is increasing. So all we need to compute is a t m plus one minus t m. So now we will compute this. So this will be n vary from uh, 0 to m uh, plus 1. And this will be 2 to the power n, b n 2 to the power n. And this will be basically n vary from 0 to m. And this will be 2 to the power n, b 2 to the power n. If you write down each term of uh, this summations and you will see that the first m term will cancel out and you will left with 2m plus 1 b 2m plus 1 and so on up to 2m plus 1 um, b 2m plus 1. Since each term of this series is positive this is a positive number so therefore this is a greater than or is equal to zero uh, this implies that this sequence tm plus 1 uh, term is greater than tm or in other this is a increasing sequence. Therefore, this is an increasing sequence and is a bounded sequence. Uh, this implies this is a convergent sequence. And if this is a convergent sequence, implies this is a uh, convergent series. Now, let me clean this and then we will prove the reverse direction of this theorem. Now, similarly, we will prove the reverse direction of this theorem. In this, we assume that the summation n vary from 0 to infinity, 2 to the power n, b, 2 to the power n, it is a convergent. So I'm going to assume this is, a, let's suppose this is a m1 this time. Uh, and we want to show that, we want to show this series is convergent and vary from 1 to infinity, B n is a convergent. Or in other words, we will compute the partial sum of the series and prove that the partial sum of the series is uh, bounded and it is also a monotone. So let's compute the partial sum as m this time. And this is a summation n vary from 1 to m b m b n. This is the partial sum. So first we will show that SM is bounded. And uh, to show that it's bounded, so we will just compute it. What is the SM? It is a B1 plus B2 and so on up to BM. Now I will add more term in this partial sum BM plus b m plus one plus b m plus two and so on because each because each b m is a positive so this inequality basically less than or equal to will hold and now i'm going to uh, do some manipulation i'm going to do b one 
I'm going to combine the term B2 with a B3 and B4, B5, B6, B7, and B8, and so on. Similarly, I will combine all the term in a similar way. So now I will use the property that the sequence is decreasing. So this time I'm going to replace uh, B3 by B2. And because B3 is always less than or equal to B2, therefore the less than inequality will be here. And similarly, so here is a B4, B5 is less than B4, B6 is also less than or is equal to B4, and B7 is less than or is equal to B4, and B8 is less than or is equal to B4. And similarly, I will continue that trend with each and every term of this. Uh, this sum. And now I can clearly see this is equal to B1. This is a two time of B2. This is a two to the power two time of B to the power two, which is a B, B4. And this is a two to the power three, B2 to the power three and so on. This is a nothing, but this is equal to N vary from one to infinity, uh, two to the power, zero to infinity, two to the power N, b 2 to the power n and this is a convergent series though this is therefore this is a less than m1 so this implies this show that s m is less than or is equal to m1 for all values of m this implies s m is a bounded above sequence now prove s m is increasing increasing or another word it is a monotone all we need to compute s m plus one minus s m and if you calculate that you will find that this is a b m plus one term and this is a strictly greater than or equal to zero this implies this sequence s m is a increasing sequence so this sequence is increasing and it is bounded above therefore this sequence is convergent and if this sequence is convergent, this series is convergent. So this shows that if this series is convergent, uh, this implies our original series BN is also a convergent series. Here I have one quiz problem for you to practice. Please pause the video for one and two minutes and work on this problem. This is also the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.